to be honest, I don't really know how to start this video. Uh, however, I can start by saying that it's it's a funny situation, it's not like a life-threatening situation or anything like that. It's basically just a misunderstanding. Okay, so I don't have a script. I'm going to try and be as linear in the narrative as I can. I'm recording this as of the 26th of September of 2024. It is a Thursday and on Monday this week I went to uni. I had already bought a locker but I didn't have a lock with me. So I had to come back home for the weekend and then when I went back to the university with my little lock, I, I, I was going to put the lock in my locker. But guess what? I get there, I get to my locker and there's a lock. There's a lock in my locker and I'm so confused. I am so confused because that's my locker. I, I, I bought it the previous week. What is that? Why is there another lock in my locker? Why is this happening? Okay. So I went like to the little ladies that basically like these kinds of matters, you talk with them about it. Okay. And I was like, Hey, um, there's a lock in my locker that is not mine. Can you please solve this? They were like, yeah, just tell us your student number and the number of your locker. And I was like, okay, my student, num my student number is this and my locker number is this. And they were like, okay, checks out. We will go with this little cutting metal thing. I don't know what you call it in English. In Portuguese, it's an alicate. At least the small ones, I think the big ones are also called that. And we went to, to my locker and they opened up the locker. Um, I don't want to mention the exact number of my locker because in the very unlikely case that anyone from my <laughs> uni might be listening to this, then they will know which one is my locker and like, no thank you. So. I'll just try to pick a, no a random number, 205. I go to the ladies, I'm like, hey, I'm in this floor, my locker number is 205, and there's a locker, and there's another lock there. And they go there with me, they break the lock. And when, when we can finally have access to the locker, like we open it, and we see like there was some drawing, like geometry material in it, and also like there was the paper that like the ladies signed for you when you buy the locker and it turns out that the person that had overtaken my locker had the locker number 305 let me give you context to this one thing the lockers are old everything in that uni is old that uni initially initially was a convent it was built in like the 12th century and like um lisbon it's it's like it's one city that has seen many earthquakes throughout the centuries so like the structure that we have there now has n nothing to do with the initial st structure i mean the, the shape of it might be the same, but you know, it's mostly like new walls that have been built after the old walls like fell into the ground, especially after the famous earthquake of 1755. But yeah, anyway, it was turned into an academy of art in the 19th century and is right now part of the University of Lisbon. And the lockers are old. No one cares about the faculty of fine arts. No, no one cares. So, stuff is old. Some stuff is falling apart. And yeah, it's, it, do, it do be like that, you know? So yeah, the locker is old. And in some lockers, you cannot see the numbers very well. And in this locker, 
the number two, you could not see it well. It, 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 you, you could not see it well. You could see the O5 well, you could not see the two well. So I understand why the person thought it was a three, but also all the lockers next to my locker, you can see that they are in the 200s. Every single locker around it is in the D200s. How did another person think it was in the 300s? This, is, this was my thought at the time. Okay, so I go about my life as usual. Uh, the ladies take all of the other person's stuff out of the locker and they put it in a bag and they put it in their little in their little room. So when the person sees that their stuff is missing, like it's saved somewhere where they can get it safely. Okay, so uh, I go about my life and I go back to classes on Tuesday. I have classes on Tuesday. I have classes. I have classes in the morning, and I also have classes in the afternoon. I finish. I finish the class like 15 minutes before the class was over, and I went to my locker to put paper there that I had used in the class. And when I go to touch my lock, I notice that there's like I don't know the word for it. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll search it, okay? In the place where you are supposed to insert the key in the lock, there's foam. And I'm very like, don't tell me this is about the mess that happened yesterday. Like, for a second, I, I was just really scared that it was some kind of liquid that would, like, you know, like undo the metal of my lock. Like, I don't know that it would like melt the metal or something. I don't know. I was scared. And then there were people, other people around me that were waiting for a class to start and they were telling me, oh, there was a girl just here and she was completely pissed. She was out of her mind. Uh, and she's going absolutely bonkers. And I was like, okay, then the foam is probably spit. I just touched spit of someone I don't know. Okay, this is amazing. This, this, incredible, isn't it? Anyway, I have stuff to put in my locker. I, I, I put the stuff there. Um, I try to ignore the fact that I just touched uh, spit from someone I don't know. I open the locker, I put my stuff in there, and as I'm about to close the locker, I see someone from the corner of my eye walking towards me like fast. And like when I look at the person, I see a girl like she has the face of a mad woman. And like her hands, like she had like, you know, she had her hands in the way that you put your hands when you're ready to throw a punch, you know? And I immediately, like, I knew, I knew, I saw that girl's eyes and I knew she wanted to beat me up. So I was like, hey, I put my hands up, I put my hands up and I was like, hey, let's calm down, let's talk about this. The girl was like hyperventilating, going crazy, like uh, mo like uh, walking from one place to another like in this angry pace uh, but like we had a conversation and basically what happened was I'm almost sure I cannot be 100% sure but I'm almost sure that I bought my locker first and what happened was I did not have a locker, a lock with me yet. So I like people who looked at my locker thought, oh, this is this one is probably still available. Um, and the girly, the girly took a picture of my locker, 
not looking at any other locker around mine and she just took a picture and she went to to the ladies that take care of these matters and she was like hey i want this one this one in the picture the thing is you cannot read the first number that says on my locker you can read the 05 you cannot read the rest and the girl shows her phone to the lady and the lady instead of looking through the papers for the locker that was probably already mine she thought oh this is a three this is a, uh, the locker 305 and that's the number that the lady like assigned her to but she thought she was being assigned to the 205 so this was just like a complete mess because then the girlie didn't even know like where her locker was supposed to be. I think it could be something that could have been avoided if she had just looked to the lockers around my locker and saw, okay, this is 205. And so that's the number I'm going to say to the lady instead of taking a picture of her phone because the ladies might work there but they don't know every single locker in the room. They don't know uh, like they didn't have the context to know, to be absolutely sure of which number to assign her to. And then basically I, the, the, um, the girly that was occupying my locker, she was mostly furious because she thought someone had thrown all of the stuff that was in my locker, like to the trash. But I was like, hey, calm down. I was here when they took your stuff out of the locker. They put it all in a bag. Um, they are probably saving it somewhere, like almost for sure. I wouldn't worry about it if I was you. I was just trying to calm her down because the possibility of it going to the trash like, was there, but it was just like one day after they had taken her stuff out. I think they would have waited longer. I didn't mind like spending a little bit of time on that and if it was if I was in her place I would have liked someone to help to help me so I tried my best to help her and we went to the ladies little room and we talked we talked about it to the lady that was there she was super confused the lady absolutely did not know what was going on but the girlies like biggest worry was not having her stuff like her stuff being thrown out and she did get all of her stuff back so most of the problems that were happening were solved then we went to find where her actual locker was we went to look for 305 i have never like been to where the 305 locker was but I had like you know I had run some laps around the uni both when I first went there as a student and during the open galleries that we have at the end of the year for people to come see like all of the students art you know so I had an idea where this locker probably was and I did guess right we found the locker she just uh, has to buy a new lock and everything's, everything was solved. I'm glad I handled it well enough to not have, you know, a punch thrown in my face for something I was not to blame for. But yeah, this is the story of how I almost got punched in the face. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first story time in a while. So I hope you like it and if you're interested in the art you're seeing right now in the screen, check out my online shop or my commissions. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye!